there. I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I can't wait to share this video with you. And that is because I have brown eyes, obviously, and in this video I'm going to be showing you the Solatica colored contact lenses, which I am so excited about. I used to wear blue colored contacts when I started my channel. They were the Fresh Look, Fresh Look Color Blends contacts. And you know, they looked okay. My husband didn't love them. He didn't think they totally covered, you know, the brown part of my eye. They were a little like two-tone, a little blue on the outside, a little brown on the inside, then the black. But I did like them because I really preferred to have more blue eyes. Everybody in my family, a lot of people in my family have blue eyes and I think they're so beautiful. And for some reason I got stuck with this brown color. So I was wearing those, but unfortunately it necessitated many, many trips to the eye doctor. Dr. Tran is my eye doctor here in Wichita. Hi, Dr. Tran. I haven't seen you in months, as you know, because I've been wearing clear contacts because those blue contacts I wore before were so thin that they would rip in my eyes, they would get stuck in my eyes, I would get pink eye, I would get eye infections, and I would have to go into Dr. Tran for her to fish them out of my eyes. And it was no fun, and usually it happened on a Friday right before a weekend, and I couldn't get her, and it was just a horrible thing because I gave up on them because I thought for some reason colored contacts are just too thin and I can't wear them. Well, let me tell you what happened, and I am so excited about this. I have been asking in my videos lately for people to put in the comment section things that they particularly like, makeup, skincare, everything that is beauty related or even attitude related. Anything that is working for you, I would love you to share it with me because I would like to share that with all of you out there because we are the 50 plus beauty family here. And if you're not a subscriber and you're interested in all things anti-aging, even if you're 30, 40 years old, even if you're not 63 like me, I hope you'll put this slightly older YouTuber in your stash because it's easy for a 30 year old to say, oh, this worked and this worked. But if you get a 60 year old, you kind of know that she knows what's working and what's not working. So we would love to have you even if you're younger. But anyway, Cynthia Lambert, and this is a picture of her here in her Solotica contacts, she sent me this wonderful email and here it is. Beth, I hope you'll try Solotica colored contacts. I've worn them every day for the past several years and people actually stop me in the stores to tell me how beautiful my eyes are. And she is my age. I think she's either 62 or 64 or 63, somewhere in there. She says, in addition to the gorgeous color, and she has the Topazio on there. Isn't that gorgeous? They did not send me that color and I really do want to try that. In fact, I asked for blue and brown contacts. The husbands are funny. They're like, oh, don't change your eye color. You know, maybe just use brown, maybe something more natural. So I made the mistake, I guess, of asking Salatica for blue and brown, and they gave me mostly brown, but they are very pretty, and I'm going to show them all to you today, but I hope in the future that I can test out their blues because that's really what I want. And they did send me one blue, which is absolutely beautiful. In fact, it's the first one I'll show you. I love it. And she says on the website, it says the contacts that she's wearing and the ones I'll be showing you, they are good for one year. And she says, I've had mine for two or three years and they're still comfy and still good. In fact, she ordered two colors and she hasn't even opened the second one because the first one is still going strong two or three years later. And that is that beautiful Topazia that she has on there. And again, I can't show you that one today, but it is one of their most popular ones. And I will say that the reason I can wear these is because Solotica lenses are thicker. I mean, they're markedly thicker than the Fresh Look color blends that I used to wear. And so I know they will not rip, they will not get lost in my eyes, I won't get the eye infections, and so I can have the blue eyes that I want back. In this video, I'm going to be taking you through the variety of contacts that they sent to me. And this is not a sponsored video, but Solotica was kind enough when I reached out to them to say, yeah, I'll go ahead and send you some contacts. And I will tell you, they came in two days, which is crazy because they're from another country. I think they're from Saudi Arabia, something like that. Oh, Dubai, that's it, they're from Dubai, but I get them in two days. And this is the outside of the box, very cute little box. And here they are inside, and there were more in there, obviously. So that's how they look. They're beautifully packaged. Whoa, I'm dropping them. And then in the little box itself is two contacts. And again, these are the year long wear contacts. So I'm really excited about that. And they sell them individually, which is good because if you lose one, you can buy another one. And I think they're $44.50, most of these here, because they do have a prescription. They're a little more expensive. They're $44.50 a piece. 
and they come in a box like this, just like that. See, it's got two little, two little vials down there. Here's one of the little vials. And then it also comes, each contact lens pair comes with a little contact lens case. And I've gone ahead and labeled mine since I have so many colors here. I don't want to forget which is which. But anyway, they're very well packaged and this is a super quality company. And after Cynthia Lambert reached out to me, I did lots of research online, watched a lot of YouTube videos and bar none, Everyone said, if you have dark brown eyes, Solotica is absolutely the best contact, super quality. And again, you can get them in prescription strength and you don't have to send in your prescription, you just send in the number. I was a plus 3.5 and a plus 1.5, I think. Make sure that you get the plus or the minus right though, because actually I got so excited about them before they sent me any free, I ordered one that I paid for and I ordered a minus instead of a plus. So don't do that. If you have a prescription, go look at your prescription and put that information in there. You can order them in prescription. You can order them totally clear, which is good too, if you don't need any extra help on your eyes. I certainly do at 63. And you can even order them if you have an astigmatism, I think I said that right, and it's something like Tori strength or Tori layout. I'm not sure, something about Tori, but if you have astigmatism, go ahead and look on the website about that. And first, I have to say I'm not an eye doctor, so don't rely on me for medical advice. Talk to your eye doctor about it. Quite honestly, I did not call Dr. Tran because I was so excited about these lenses and they, they came in and the prescription strength is absolutely perfect. I can read just like normal. Okay, this is my eyes and I'm going to move in closer. And I will tell you, I will show you each pair close up and I'll kind of stop so you can really get a good look at them. And then I'll go outside so you can see them in natural light. And uh, this is five of their beautiful colors. And in the future, if you'd like to see like some blues and some greens and other contact lens colors from Solotica, please just let me know that down in the content section below the video. And if you could vote on your favorite one, your favorite color that you see me wear, and your least favorite one down in the comments, I would love to know that. Okay, let's get going here. First, I'll take out my contacts. Okay, there we are. This is the first color and it is the only blue that they sent me. This is a color called Hydrocore Graphite, which is kind of a grayish blue. And I think it's really, really beautiful. There is my natural eye and there is the Hydrocore Graphite. And it is just a very natural looking color of blue. And the hydrocores don't have what they call a limbic ring around them. So there is no external ring. The natural colors, and I do have a few natural colors here, they do have that limbal ring. I guess it's limbal, not limbic. There is a look at the one side in there, and there it is. And I think it is truly amazing. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty to have blue eyes. I'm so excited about it. Let me get my mirror here. Oh my, oh my, it's so pretty. I'm so excited to get my blue eyes back. Salatica, I am so happy with you because I am going to have my blue eyes back and I have a feeling these will be the blues I will wear. It's certainly the only ones I have yet, but there is that blue and I'm going to go ahead and put the other one in for you. Okay, there is the second one in of the Hydrocore Graphite. There it is. And I will say a lot of people probably think, oh, colored contacts, that's for the young women. And I totally disagree with you on that because as we get older, everything fades out. We just look washed out and the color just fades from our skin, from our hair, even from our eyes. Those young women have those sparkly bright eyes and this can help us catch up a little bit and get back some of the sparkle that we've lost before. Okay, the next ones are called Hydrocore Buzios, and look how pretty that is. It is a little bit of a greenish color, and because it's the Hydrocore, it does not have the limbal ring around the outside. These tend to look more natural, maybe, than the ones with the ring. However, I'm kind of an extra girl, so I like the idea of the ring, but I think that is absolutely beautiful and it is super, super natural. There is my, my normal eye and there is my eye 
with the Hydrocor Buzios on. I think that's how you say it. I'll go ahead and put the other one on and then I'll do a little display. I just think it gives you those watery, dreamy, kind of lake looking eyes, those ocean greenish blue eyes. I think that is absolutely beautiful and so totally natural. That's what I really can't believe is how natural it is. And unlike the other lenses that I used, the blue ones before where you saw the blue and then the brown of your, whatever that's called, the brown that's in your eye and then the black, this just blends in beautifully. Whoever the artist is who does these does an excellent job. I'll go ahead and put the other side in. I have fake lashes on, so I'm trying not to touch my eyelashes. And by the way, I have fabulous new fake lashes on that I love because I just can't seem to get the glue-ons to work. But these are magnetic lashes, and if you'd like to see a video about it, these are super, super easy, and they're cheap, and I really love them, and I think they're beautiful. Okay, so here are the Hydrocore Buzios. Okay, this is the Natural Ochre, and this has the Limbal Ring, and I love this because this is my natural eye, and this is the Ochre eye, and I think it's just a little bit of an amber color. It's just got a little bit of gold to it, and it does have the Limbal Ring around the outside. I don't know if you can see that, but I think it just adds a little bit of definition, a little bit of drama. Absolutely beautiful, and I will say, I just went out to LA for a little TV thing, which I can't tell you about yet, uh, I'm really excited to tell you about it, but contractually until it airs, I can't mention that I did this particular thing. But when I was out there, we did a tour of the stars home and I was really thinking about the stars. And it made me remember that it always makes me mad when you see a really young looking star who's in her 50s or 60s and they say, what do you do to look so good? And they say, oh, I get lots of sleep and I drink lots of water. <laughs> and I'm sorry, we shouldn't feel guilty that we don't look like that because they have the best tools and techniques out there to make them look their absolute best. And I remember that in many movies and commercials and that kind of thing, I've seen a movie star and I've said, oh, what beautiful eyes. I wish I had those eyes, those are gorgeous. And I forgot, you know, even though I'm kind of in this business, I forgot that they have enhancements like the Solotica lenses. And look at the difference here between this eye, which you know, is okay, it's my normal brown eye, and this eye. This eye just looks kind of captivating. I really love that. And if you're interested in making your brown eyes look natural, but just giving them a little more of that watery, kind of glassy-eyed kind of pop, then these could be for you. I'll go ahead and put the other one on. Okay, this is the Hydrocore Avella, and here it is. This is it on this side, and this is my natural brown eye, and I think it looks super natural. Again, though, because it's the Hydrocore, it does not have the limbal ring, but what it does have is a gorgeous honey color. It's even more honey colored than the last lenses, and look how beautiful they are. They almost have an otherworldly look, maybe like a little bit like a golden angel or something like that, really, really pretty. Let's go in a little closer so you can really see. And they are unusual. They're a little more dramatic, maybe a little more dramatic than the last ones. And the last ones were the natural ochres. And these have a little more of a gold to it, maybe even a little more green in the Avella.
Okay, these are the Hydrocore Mel, and there it is. And the Mel is similar to the Avella, although the Avella was quite gold. This has more of a touch of green, I would say, and I really do like this. And I have to say, with regard to the Avellas, when I went into the bathroom just a few moments ago, I thought they looked a little bit unreal. Maybe a little too dramatic for me. I don't think I would order the Avellas, but I think these Mel's are really, really beautiful. Hydrocore Mel, and so that means it does not have the little limbo ring around the outside, but I think that makes it look really, really natural. Maybe not quite so dramatic, but very natural. Now those are the Mel's, and I think they're really, really beautiful. Those have just a touch of green, which I really think is gorgeous. It has that watery kind of sea green look, that greenish kind of a blue, maybe a little bit of gold in there. Absolutely beautiful. And I will say there is a discount code for 10% off your order below the video. And I've seen other YouTubers that have worked with Solotica and they get $10 off, but 10% off is really, really good because you can order multiple pairs and save even more money. So let me back up and I'll show you these lenses. Okay, that was a look at five different Solotica contacts, and I absolutely love them, and there are links to all of them below the video. And again, there's a 10% off code, which is Beth, <laughs> easy code to remember. And I've gone ahead and put back in the graphites, and these are the Hydrocore graphites, and I absolutely love these. This was what I was on the search for to begin with, is I really wanted to replace those blue contacts that I used years ago. So I am so happy about this, and I'm hoping that Solotica will want to send me a bunch of different blues so that I can show you all of them to help you choose the best one for you. Okay, again, if you're not a subscriber and you're interested in all things anti-aging, things that make us look and feel our best in our second half, then I hope you subscribe, and when you click that little bell, that just sends you email notifications of my future videos. Okay, I always do a little thought for the day at this point in the video. Normally I draw a card, but today I'm not going to draw a card. I'm going to tell you something that I've been using, which has really been kind of revolutionizing my emotional life. As those of you who have followed my channel know, I suffer from a little bit of mild depression. I am not medicated for it or anything like that, although at different points in my life I have taken a little something, but for some reason I just never really liked doing that, so I kept getting off of that stuff. But anyway, to deal with my mild depression, I'm always looking for ways to pump up the gratitude level, to pump up the positive thinking in my life, and it seems to really help. And I saw a YouTube video and it was some guy and he was a researcher and I wish I had a link to the video, I don't. But he recommended that you do this about two weeks ago and I have been doing it ever since and I really, really like it. First, it is just a mini habit. It is something tiny that all of us can do. And what it is, is I set it on my cell phone every day for 4.30 when I get up. I get up because I do my weight workouts at 4.30. But I have it set on my cell phone and it reminds me, let me find one here. It says, feet on floor, it's gonna be a great day. No, feet on floor, it's going to be an amazing day. Actually, I started out saying it's going to be a great day, but I realized that I want a magical, amazing day. So basically, the minute I get out of bed, I put my feet on the floor and I say, it's going to be an amazing day. It's going to be an amazing day. And as I'm walking into the bathroom, he didn't say to do this, but I keep saying, it's going to be an amazing day. It's going to be an amazing day. And then at night before I go to sleep, I have another reminder here that says, list three reasons why my day was amazing. And this is for 9.30 to 10.30 and it goes off. It kind of has an alert that goes off. List three reasons why my day was amazing. And even if it's really simple things at the end of the day, you can say, I went out to lunch with my son. It was amazing. I found the perfect color of lipstick. It was amazing. Little things like that. But what that does is it reminds you all through the day to be looking for things that are amazing. 
things that you can be grateful for, things that make you happy, things that make you, you know, excited to be alive, even just a little bit, just positive, good things, as opposed to some days, I remember I used to kind of go through the day thinking, oh my God, I have to go to work. I have to do this. I have to do that. And that's bad language. I get to go to work. I get to do this. I get to do that. We all know that. But ever since I've been doing this, I really have been having much better days. And so if you'd like to join me, I would love you to do that. Tomorrow morning when you put your feet on the floor, say it's going to be an amazing day and look for ways through the day that it is. Take care and I'll see you in my next video.